Alright GM, yeah, welcome back to some more RimWorld Beta 18. So, verdict is, I'm not that much better um, in terms of this illness. However, I've got a big pack of Strepsils, so they're going to help me not choke on oxygen. So this is going to be fun. Okay, hashtag not sponsored. Uh, Tad Apparel of Lad. Oh yeah, we've got a shirt that we need to make for you, haven't we? Is that right? That is right. We also got Dead Man's Armoured Vests, which uh, I'm not that fussed about replacing because nearly everybody's got one. And we've got no minor breaks or anything like that, so... It's honestly not much of an issue, Bon Jovi, just having a pint by the campfire. I could go for that. That sounds like a, a lovely plan, if I do say so myself. Which I do. Um, hmm. What do we want to do today? Well, we were working on making plant pots for everybody's rooms, going to improve their living quarters a little bit, and I've just noticed there is no door here. Fix that problem right there. Still, um, the after effects of the last sapping uh, attack that we had. Good quality. Good quality. Nice. Leslie's on a roll. Hmm. Yeah, these strepsils aren't working as effectively as I'd hoped because I'm kind of on the border of choking right now. Oh god. Yeah, this uh, this illness got the best of me. To be honest, it's uh, it's taken quite some time to get over it. So I'm kind of just gonna power through it and try to get back into the channel because. I've left it about a week now, and it's killing me inside to do that for a start. And it's also just not good for the channel in general if I do that. So we're going to power through. Going to just edit out any coughs and sneezes and things like that. And we're just going to pretend like I'm not ill. So that's good. Right. Um, yeah, we've got idle colonists, so we need to figure out what we want to do, to be honest. As far as expansions are concerned and future plans now if it was not terribly cold there'd be plenty of growing work to be done hmm apparently everything's been hauled we've got people doing research everything is clean which is surprising I suppose I could do um, a floor in the fridge the Hannibal is the person who has got nothing to do and he's one of those who is not a constructor so I'll tell you what just unpause these and you can go do your thing is um this should be 260 why is this not 260 um yeah should be the same as everybody else's Unpause at 59, the same as everybody else's. Eh. Why not 60? Because it won't let me. Why not 61? Because it's got to be 59 if the rest of them are 59. That's just the way it is. Alright, we can get ourselves some stone blocks. I suppose I could ask some of my colonists to start hauling marble blocks. If they've got nothing better to do. An item stash opportunity, a joy wire. What was the joy wire again? I think that just puts them in a good mood. It's like an implant. It says it right at the bottom. Joy wire, this little brain implant will make you feel happy and relaxed, though it might make you end up as drowsy as a result. Yeah. If you read the full thing, it tells you. Do I need components? 26. No, not really. There is a big mining order there, though, so I could add some people to the mining order. Like, Renfield could start doing it. don't really care for that, though. Hmm. Certainly don't care for the ones and zeros to do it, though. If I make you a three on mining, that reduces the hauling. But so does making it a four. So, sure, let's make it a three. Get you involved there. 
Uh, um, guys, problems. Bon Jovi, um, fire, fire, run, Vlad, run, Vlad, faster. We're actually able to outrun it by the looks of things. So this could uh, this could bode well for us. If we can outrun it, which we are doing right now, it means I can get everybody around. Please don't go three times speed. Ah, uh, just don't hit Vlad. <laughs> just please don't hit Vlad. Hey, there we go. Right, Vlad should be in a terrible position, but he's not. Good. Excuse me. These strepsils are not working. Hashtag don't sponsor me because I will not say nice things about your strepsils. Alright. Set you to be finished off. Get Vlad to be healed. At the soonest possible opportunity, Leslie. Already doctoring. Good. Good, good, good. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, we narrowly avoided certain death, so that's good. I uh, really appreciate that. I think uh, Vlad must have got a lucky shot off or something like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. I said a naughty. I said we didn't struggle. <laughs> I said we didn't have any issues and now we do. Oh, flick the switch, please, lad. Everybody back into base. Oh, Roundfield. I'm going to have you tuck around a little bit, because there is one that's on its way through, and I don't want you aggroing it. Except for it looks like you have. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, balls. It's alright, they don't usually uh, attack you when you're downed. <gasps> nice! Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Faster. Tuck in. And head down this way. Renfield, you lucky, lucky individual, you. Lucky-ish. Still gonna contend with the ones that get through anyway. There we go. Got more injured from the boars and the bears than we have from most raids. Huh. I think that's it. Ah, oh, balls. We've got infections now. It's fine. We've got plenty of medicine. Leslie is the only doctor absolutely bugger off with your need to rest. Not happening. Actually not happening, Leslie. I don't care what time it is. You got patience. Just not the patience for uh, doctoring, apparently. The other kind of patience. Alright, this minigun... Uh Infection shouldn't be too bad. A local squirrel's gone mad. That's fine. We'll leave the uh, leave the turrets on for a little while. Also, haul these urgently. Hey, squirrel! Squirrel's a smart one. Never mind. Squirrel's a dead one. Okay. Well, that was exciting for the five minutes that happened. <laughs> Still want another boom alert. Let's have a boom alert check. Is there a boom alert on the map? He is broken down at the worst possible time. That being said, it's only minus four, so it's not too bad. But still. 
It's only Renfields. The man's live. He ain't a uh, vampire like the rest of us. Hmm. I don't think Hannibal is either, is he? No. He's a cannibal. We got three vampires, a uh, manservant, and a cannibal. Starvation? Are you kidding me? Yes, you are kidding me. Okay, good to know. There seems to be a lack of uh, lavish meals here, though. Um, Vlad. Then again, he is in... Uh, He's in the hospital, recovering from his infection, which he is uh, easily going to manage to get ahead of. We've actually run out of human meat, which is why he's not making lavish meals now that I think about it. Because we did restrict lavish meals to purely uh, human meat plus veg. So that makes a lot of sense. Having three simple meals left over, though, gives him a job to do. That's good. How are our other cooks doing? Two and two. Better than zero. Good. That tailoring job. Hannibal. I kind of want to bump you up a little bit on that. Don't really need crafting right now. That being said, we got 235 marble blocks, but none of the marble's actually been used. Leslie. What's going on him? Our first minor break, and it's Vlad. Yeah. That would explain a lot. Night Owl during the daytime. Well, now he's no longer in a bad mood, because now he's high on smoke leaf. Good. Slept in the cold. Oh yeah, that is a point. Should turn that heater on. When you get the moment. There we go. Major infection, but 95% the way there towards the immunity. Not going to take long at all. Small alcohol tolerance. It's your own damn fault. Hmm. So yeah, how do we want to expand this base a little bit? One of you guys mentioned a treasure trove to keep all of our gold and silver in. I kind of like that idea. Though I think it probably would be best if I put it here, so... It would require us expanding our wall. Which at the moment, I'm not really that fussed about. So I don't know, what else would you guys like to see me do with this base? Could maybe do an art station. The only problem with that is that it either get well, actually you could get Renfield working on art. Yeah, I suppose that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Do it out of stone blocks, so we'll do a, an art station over here. We've already got one actually. Let's make a series of small sculptures, shall we? Do until we have. Uh, five, sure. We'll have one in everybody's room for the time being. Okay, and then we want Renfield. I'll put you on that. Is that right? That's probably right. It's not an important task because we've got mining to do, but it's a reasonably important task. So what are you doing now? Digging compacted steel. Good. We do kind of want more steel. 195 is absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things, so getting Redfield to work on that would be great. In fact, this seems like... Oh no, there's a big pile of it there. In fact, let's mine the connected ores there. Set those going. Because they are closer to base than these ones, but those three... Veins, I believe, are the last exposed iron veins that we've got available to us. It's a bit of silver there, actually. Let me mine that so it's a bit more obvious. Later down the line when I actually might need silver. That being said, we got 7,000, which is a fair amount. 
It's not enough to buy whatever I want, but I can buy most things. Which is good enough. Could really do with a trader, actually. What kind of trader could we do with? Because we could spend money getting one. If I go... Let Vlad do his thing. I think he'll go on. He's apparently cleaning dirt. I want you to... Call one of our friends. Blacks... No, the Outlander Union. Northeast Thetisia. Oh, Thestia. Whatever. So it costs money to organise a trade caravan. Yeah, 1,100 silver to get them to turn up. That is a lot. That ain't happening. It might cost less the more friendly they are, I wouldn't know, but... Something to look into, I suppose. Right, as for flooring in here, what do I want? Maybe sandstone flagstone? I don't think tile is necessary. It's not a room that needs to be beautiful, but... It's certainly not a room that needs wood flooring, and I'm not using steel, so... Yeah, let's get some flagstone in there. Um, yeah, like that. This is tile, I think. Yes, and that's tile. Which is as it should be. We have stuck, struck silver ore. Good. Now it's very obvious. Well, it's more obvious. Hauling marble chunks, eh? Good. I guess. Alright. We do have three thickness walls up here. How much marble do we have? 260. So we could order another thickness or maybe our south wall. Might be worthwhile. Although this is this is already three thickness. We have mechanoids. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. They're close. Then again, three centipedes uh, does mean slow... Um, organization on their part. The problem being that Renfield's over here and that Scyther is going to get in here quick. Uh, Vlad, flick that switch. You go there, you go there, you go there. Renfield, you're attacking a turret. Okay, so stand here. Oh, never mind. Head into base. <laughs> I want you to stand there. I want Renfield there. These guys are slow, but they're coming in now. Is that heavy charge blasters? Heavy charge blasters and a minigun. So we'll probably get one minigun out of this, which is nice. We're going to stand here, most likely. Yep. The next one has to get a little bit further in. This is as exposed as it needs to be, though, in honesty. The only issue is we've got no range for that. There we go. Problem solved. Nice shot there. One down. He comes a little bit further in. What are you doing? Punching through part of our wall. We'll keep an eye on that. Put it down here. For now, I just want to make sure that this centipede doesn't do anything dangerous. Like break down the rest of our wall. Hey, there goes another one. And I'll tell you what, Leslie, get that minigun. We got time. And then... All that. Got plenty of time. Well, this guy's just punching holes in our wall. We've got time. Alright. Come back. There we are. Ooh, nice. That's going to make this job a whole lot quicker. Uh, 
And he's forced to come even further forward. Come on. This is, must be the last shot. We've got a really good shot with a minigun. You got this. Come on. There we go. Right. Set them to finish off. Undraft you. Stop that. And we managed it. Wonderful. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, then be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well. Right next to the subscription button. And that will give you notifications when I release new videos. We've got a local squirrel. Alright, let's, let's solve that. And also before I forget, let's build that there. Alright guys, see you next time.